Uh, today we're here to celebrate um, the announcement of our 39th recognised collection, which is the Singer Sewing Machine Collection and uh, the Archive, which are cared for by Western Bartonshire Council. We have some very rare and unique um, sewing machines. We also have an archive collection that um, nobody else has in terms of some of the technical cards, the transfer books. Um, and other associated ephemera with the, the technical aspect of the sewing machine production. But we also have a really unique archive um, showing how Singer affected Klein Bank um, and the people that worked in it, uh, in the factory, um, from sports clubs to um, gala days to other kind of recreational societies that um, Singer really encouraged people to join so that it became part of a huge community which in, in turn discouraged any kind of industrial action. It's the biggest publicly accessible collection of its kind in Europe. It has 803 sewing machines from over 130 different manufacturers. In addition, the archive material provides a unique insight into the people of Cloudbank, many of whom worked in the Singer factory. I enjoyed all the time. I didn't have any bad memories, they were all very good memories, happy memories, and something really funny memories. It was a family factory, a family factory, a happy factory. It was a sad day when that closed down, it was a sad day. And we also have three sewing machine cases um, that show that Singer was um, experimenting with colour and sewing machines from a very early, um, from a very early date. Uh, the recognised collections uh, really are the best of the best in Scotland. Um, recognition is very much a stamp of quality and collections have to demonstrate that they have the breadth and the quality um, and that they are of national significance and many of them are actually of international significance. So we now have a network of 39 collections across Scotland linking communities from Elgin, Kirkwall, Dumfries and now in Clydebank. Um, and what it allows now through the recognition scheme is access to the recognition fund. So there is um, more money and more investment available to care for the collections and to make them available to more visitors. We're really looking forward to being able to show our collections and our local history to our visitors and we're really hoping that more visitors will come to Clabet Museum and Art Gallery based on the recognition announcement today.